What's going on YouTube? It's Kaz and welcome back to the Kingdom Perfumes Experience. So before we get started, I usually like to start off all of my videos with a quick and simple prayer. For those of you who'd like to skip ahead to the beginning of the video, there will be a link in the description below. For those of you staying with the prayer, let's start. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for my viewers. Uh, I just pray that you cover them and touch them, Lord, and that you that your face may shine upon them with whatever they're going through. Lord, we just pray that you cover this video, cover my viewers with, every, with whatever they may be going through and just um, bring healing to our country, Lord. And, you know, we just pray that this sickness, this uh, COVID-19 will come to an end. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, so today's video is gonna be about a wonderful banger. Um, I think it's all year round, but it's especially great for these uh, cooler weather months, um, especially the winter time here in Northern Virginia. That's gonna be none other than Blue Chanel Parfum. Now the Parfum version is a wonderful concentration of the Blue Chanel line. I like it especially, um, I usually tend to lean more towards um, Parfum concentrations. I don't know if it's something with my brain or whatnot, I just like the the heaviest concentration. It doesn't always mean that it's the best. It doesn't always mean that it projects more. Um, it, Parfum really just speaks to the percentage of oil to alcohol ratio. And sometimes perfumers can add a few or um, omit a few different ingredients um, depending upon the concentration to yield the desired effect. So the Parfum is really nice um, and really smooth, okay? The bottle is awesome. It's the same Blue Chanel bottle. You'll notice that the letters are actually gold. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. And on the Parfum version, the cap also has gold letters. All right, and um, I'm not sure if the EDT and the EDP are of the same um, cap type, because I don't own them, but I know the Parfum version has a magnetic cap, and that's really cool. The atomizer is great as well. I'll show you guys that really quick. That is a beautiful cloud of fragrance that you get. Oh, and as it just fills the air, I really, really enjoy this stuff. So as soon as I got this fragrance, guys, by the way, it was, it was a, um, I think, I don't want to say a gift, but you know, some deal through Ulta or something like that. And I was able to get it. Um, it's a wonderful fragrance and it's very blue. It makes me feel very relaxed. It's a white t-shirt fragrance. Without any delay, um, let's go ahead and get into my nose notes. You guys know I always like to take notes on my first impressions, so we're gonna dive into it really quick here, all right? By the way, woody aromatic fragrance, all right? Just for your reference, this is considered a woody aromatic fragrance. So, um, it opens with a nice balance, guys, of citrus, all right? It's not as bubbly as the EDT. Now, I did get my nose on the EDT and the EDP in the stores. The EDT is more youthful, it's more zingy, okay? So if you want, maybe a little bit more projection, something that screams a little bit more, more citrus, more brightness, go for the EDT. Um, if you want a balanced, um, maybe not too loud, but also not too reserved, you can go for the EDP, it's very round. And the Parfum is the most grown up of uh, the three. Um, it does sit a lot closer to the skin, it might not project as much as you would like it to, uh, but it does last a decent amount of time. And um, you know, for those that just like those more, Fine fragrances, the perfume concentrations for you. Um, but yeah, it's not as bubbly as the EDT. I really do enjoy that, guys. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, it also gets smoother too as the citrus dries from that opening, and I love that part. I think that's part of the sandalwood kind of doing its magic and just creating a gateway through the the um, the different layers of the fragrance. Sandalwood is really good at doing that. Uh, it also gets creamier as the blue notes, blue notes. All right, start to kind of develop. Has this really nice smoky powdery nuance to it that I appreciate. Um, it's this like undercurrent that develops, okay, as the more of the fragrance dries on your skin. All right, so that's pretty much my, um, 
initial impressions. All right, we're gonna talk about the notes in a little bit, but um, I just wanna let you guys know that this was uh, created by the perfumer um, Olivier Polge, okay? Now he's the in-house perfumer for Chanel. He's been there for a long time. Um, and this fragrance in particular came out in 2018, all right? And um, just a quick fact about Olivier Polge, he also created not just Chanel fragrances, but I mean, Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum, um, Dior Own 2015, uh, some Armani fragrances, or just to name a few, Diesel, I think, um, some of the Mugler fragrances. So he's he's had his hands really busy um, over the decades, creating some really nice fragrances, and this is definitely a nice addition to um, Olivier Polge's uh, repertoire, I guess you could say. Um, we'll talk about the sillage and longevity in a minute, but let me just go ahead and give you these notes. In the top, we're gonna have some lemon zest, some bergamot, some mint, and some artemisia. In the mid, we're gonna have some lavender, geranium, pineapple, and some green notes. Finally, in the base to finish it all off, we're gonna have some sandalwood, some cedar, some amber wood, now that's really common in a lot of men's perfumes nowadays. And we're gonna have some ISO E Super and some Tonka Bean. So that makes up the nose notes, uh, sorry, not the nose notes, the notes, okay, for this fragrance. Beautiful stuff, all right? Now, real quick, I'm just gonna spray some of it on a tester strip, which I should have already done, all right? And I'm just gonna get reacquainted. It's already in the air, guys, but oh, it's wonderful. You get the, the sparkly bergamot, you get a little bit of that lemon, lemon zest. And the sandalwood has this creamy character that kind of brings the entire fragrance, like it transports the fragrance through the different layers, okay? And you get a tiny bit of that juicy pineapple. It, it's very, very slight. But yeah, the geranium and the pineapple kind of wrap themselves in this blanket of green note, okay? And I think that's really what's responsible for creating that blue vibe that we, you know, that we talk about, that blue, uh, that blueness of the fragrance, okay? And I think the ICE Super is really just there to give the entire thing a finishing effect, all right? Um, for those of you who don't know, by the way, I'm also a perfumer in um, self-study, so some of these notes and characteristics are really interesting to me because I study them and I try to get more um, intimate, um, develop more of an intimate knowledge with the materials. But yeah, great, great fragrance. Honestly, um, I believe you can blind by this fragrance and not be disappointed. You're gonna have a great atomizer. It's a wonderful bottle to put on your dresser. Um, no one will hate this on you, okay? The only way that somebody won't like blind buying it blind buying this is that they they might want to you know kind of like a beast mode fragrance or something that projects like crazy um that's not what this is okay and that kind of transitions us to the longevity and the siage siage is going to be intimate like i've said one to two feet max okay it's definitely more intimate um you're gonna have a nice a decent central as you walk and the wind carries it depending on how cold it is outside maybe or how warm um it might leave a decent scent trail um and the longevity it's gonna last you a decent amount of time i would say an entire work day it's not gonna scream off your skin but you're gonna be able to get nice whiffs of it um, throughout its entire work day that's eight hours okay and it's not um crazy enough or cloying enough that if you reapply several times throughout the day, you're not going to be able to destroy anyone's nose. So, Blue Day, Par uh, Blue Day Chanel Parfum, great fragrance. Highly recommend getting it. Before we wrap up, guys, I just want to let you know that I am offering decants. You'll notice that my bottle is half full, okay? Half empty, rather, whichever camp you're a part of. And um, that is because I decanted several uh, samples of this. I believe I have three left. So please feel free to visit my eBay page. I have all of my samples there. Um, I think because of the, uh, maybe the regulations or whatnot around Chanel, I think they took my Chanel listings down. I still have the, the decant, so I'd be more than happy to uh, share them with anyone. Um, I'll probably do some type of giveaway um, if I get to maybe 300 likes or something like that on this video. Let's, let's do that, 300 likes. If I get to 300 likes on this video, 
I will pick one random person and I'll send out a nice five mil sample of Blue Day Chanel Parfum. All right. So, uh, but yes, you'll see my eBay information in the description. I will put a link to where you can purchase this in the description. That about wraps up our time today. Thank you so much for just joining me. If it's if you're here for the first time, please like and subscribe if you like my content. Um, if you're a returning person, thank you so much for coming back. I look forward to having um, you again on my channel. As always, take care and have a blessed day. Hope to see you again soon.